This is what's in my bag. We might as well start with the bag. This bag is from a company called Omnix. They're one of the number one bag manufacturers in Asia. They reached out to me and wanted to make me my own custom bag. What's unique with these bags are these kind of half see-through pockets. So on both sides of the bag are half see-through as well on the ball bag. So you can kind of see what's going on in there, but there's still like a little bit of privacy. They obviously gave me my own little new nine golf club stitching, which is awesome on the bag. I don't think it's a real leather. I would say it's a pleather. I have my bag on electric golf push cart. This is the Stuart Golf Q Follow. I used to hate walking. I would almost always cart. I especially hated carrying, and this has made golfing so much more enjoyable. It has a remote that I can turn it left, right, forward, back. But my absolute favorite feature is the follow feature. So there's a follow button. I can press follow. I can put it on my belt buckle or my pants, top of my shorts. I can get walking. And just like that, my golf bags are gonna follow me. Now this Omnix bag is a cart specific bag and this is the first year that I've gone to a cart bag. I previously had a Vessel carry bag and I still use it if I choose to carry, which is not super often, but the cart bag fits so much better on electric push carts. The kickstand on the Vessel bag was getting in the way. My bag wouldn't sit flush, it would move around. Sometimes the bag would fall off. It was annoying. So I think if you have an electric push cart or a push cart in general, you should definitely consider a cart bag just because it stays on so much more flush and I got a lot more storage. So how about I show you what's inside this bag? Okay, how about I start on this one that you can already see some stuff into. So in every golfer's bag, there should be sunscreen. I'm rocking the kids SPS 50. I got sensitive skin and your boy hates getting sunscreen in his eyes. So I went with the kids brand, Copper Tone. I should let you guys know too that I kind of forgot we were gonna film this video. So I didn't like preload my pockets with anything. I played yesterday, played the day before, played the day before that. This is everything as true as what's in my golf bag as you could honestly expect. I have my scorecard holder. I've had this for years. I got it off eBay. It's like a fake alligator leather. I don't even know what the brand is. It looked like a BEB for Brandon. I thought that was kind of cool. Whole bunch of scorecards in here. The last round I kept score. We were playing the Talons, which is where we are, our, my home course. And, oh no, this is a Ridge scorecard. The Ridge, smooth 70, one under. 34, 36, not bad. Looked like there was some money being exchanged. I got a whole bunch of these, it's always funny. Next season, I'll open my golf bag and look it around and be like, oh, I was able to play good after I shot, you know, 90 on my first round in uh, early April. What else we got in here? I got a sweater, a pullover. I was just playing in a tournament my friend runs, it's called the Baxi, Baxi Invitational. So this is a uh, uh, free sweater that they had given everyone. We raised money for charity. I think this year we raised $25,000 for kids uh, Special Olympics. So super cool to raise money for them and it was a good time to see uh, a bunch of old buddies. I also got some new gloves. If you haven't checked already, new9golf.com. We have introduced a ton of more apparel. The shirt that I'm wearing is a new nine golf shirt. I would put up our quality up against Nike, Adidas, like it took me three years to find manufacturing of quality good enough that I want to get to you guys. Same deal with these gloves. These are our premium leather player gloves. It's a Cabretta leather. If you've ever worn like a Titleist Tour leather glove, um, it is the same type of quality. This is our plain white. We have other ones that have colors. I probably have some in my uh, bag that I've already used that I can show you. But the quality is, like I said, it took me three years to find stuff that I would want to wear myself and I wasn't willing to compromise my integrity to give you guys something that was poor quality. So, what else do I got in here? One more loose scorecard. That's it, that's kind of underwhelming on the left side of my bag here. Where should we go now? Let's go to this guy. I love this pocket, it's magnetic. So if you've had a Vessel bag, because I have, I can compare it to that, they have the same type of magnetic closure. I love that. I have a leftover cookie wrapper. I had a nice little oatmeal raisin uh, to fuel me with some energy at the turn yesterday. We'll throw that out before we leave. There should be just tees in here. So much like the new nine golf gloves, I have new nine golf tees. You can get tees on our website, different colors. It's the Tiffany and whites. I love these because if you lose it on the ground, you can find it right away. I made some other tees that were uh, dark. Some days they're hard to find, but I find these the easiest to find. I have short tees as well. I love these for par threes or teeing up irons or hybrids. I way prefer using short tees. I find long tees will bend. And then if I go to pull my driver and there's a hook in the tee, I'm not a huge fan of that. So I do, I always got a long tee and a short tee in my pocket. I was playing around with some other tees too. These are called the tour tees. A little bit longer 
bigger um, tops. A friend of mine reps this brand, so he wanted me to try them out. These are more like martini style. I haven't hit these, I just can't look at them. I was planning to try them, but because I have new 90s, I'm obviously faithful to my own brand. And then I have just a, uh, an extra pencil in here. You know, sometimes you get a, a golf cart and they forget to put a pencil in there. I think it's always a good idea to just have an extra pencil in the bag. Let's go, let's go right below it. So this is my ball bag. I have my valuable pouch in here. Again, I have no clue what's in here, so I'll just dump it. Let's do that. So a bunch of, so I usually put my valuables in here. Um, I'll show you where my phone and stuff is shortly. But here's a bunch of teas that I use. Here's another new nine tea, kind of the, uh, the peach and brown, I think is cool. My divot tool I've used for the last year and a half from Trump Doral. I was uh, lucky enough to be invited on a golf trip with Cobra Puma Canada. They took us there, got us this little souvenir. I still use this. For a ball marker, I've been using this casino chip. I'm a big poker player. I play poker as a hobby. I know a lot of people chirp the poker chips, but I've started to collect poker chips from casinos that I play. This one was from the Commerce Casino in LA. This is from a local uh, casino that I play with at. It's called Ace Poker. It looks like a $100 chip. If you look really closely, it says uh, tournament, no cash value. So from a distance, people think I'm a baller using a $100 poker chip, but it's actually from a tournament. I did win a tournament a couple weeks ago. There's only like four Forty-five guys, but it, uh, humble brag, that's something that I like to do in my spare time. Gambling obviously translates to the golf course. With my buddies, we're always playing Skins or Vegas or Wolf or Nassau, so I am definitely a gambler. If you haven't seen already, we just released a video playing a cash game at Banff Springs. I think we're gonna do more of that on-course content, kind cash of mixed money, golfing and gambling, so that's been fun. Baby. I have this, this is from Country Hills, my home course. It's a 30-year anniversary ball marker. So last year was our 30th year anniversary of being open. So I got this guy in there. And then another ball marker that I was playing around with is this little guy. So big bonus points if you have any idea where this currency is from. So this is from the uh, United Arab Emirates. When I was young, I had my first birthday in Yemen. My parents lived overseas. My dad worked in oil and gas. He moved our family to the Middle East. So I was at their place just going through kind of like a random change jar they had and they had this one. So I thought, ah, that'd be kind of a cool keepsake to use as a ball marker, but I use it probably the least amount of all my ball markers. Two Sharpies, just for tournament play. I got club champs coming up next weekend. So I'll use one of these two Sharpies to mark my ball. The last ball I used was a Titleist Pro V1 number three. And this guy is a new ball that I've been trying out. This is a TaylorMade TP5. I used to always play the TP5X. They released these balls for the US Open when they were in LA. I just thought it was such a cool ball that I had to try it. Um, I got them on a good deal on their website. You can still maybe check TaylorMade's website, see if they have them on sale. I think it was like 45 bucks a dozen for DP5, so I couldn't pass up on that. That's my cash valuable bag. This is made by uh, Coobs Golf, C-O-O-B-S. I think they're out of Florida. Cubit's the nickname, my last name spelling C-U-B-I-T-T. -T. For simplicity, a lot of my friends just call me Q hyphen bit. Easier to say, easier to spell. Let's see what else is in here. Another new nine golf glove. This is one of our blue camos that I was just testing around with. Super soft leather, fits good, feels good. I think it had it, I had it out in the rain, so it's starting to lose just a little coloration, but the quality is still awesome. So I got one of those, another new nine glove. This is a prototype that I haven't even cashed in on my new ones yet. Here's another one, the gray and blue, and then a whole bunch of balls. So I got a couple more of those TP5s was telling you about. These are super funny. So these are Titleist Pro V1 X outs. A couple years ago, I bought, I think, 10 dozen Pro V1, these X outs. So X outs were misprints. Titleist, if they printed some for a company, they spelled the company's name wrong. Instead of just throwing them in the garbage, they put these X's out, sell them at a discount. I wish I could have bought more because to buy Pro V1s for like 20 bucks a dozen is unheard of, but I still have some, so I'm using those. Here's an X out, some funny numbers, right? Titleist 68, an X out. So I don't know why they X that out because it's just a Pro V1 line, but they feel the exact same as a Pro V1. I mostly have Pro V1s and then another ball I was playing around with this year was the Callaway Chrome Soft XLS. I've obviously marked it up a ton and that's probably why I'm not playing it. Wasn't a huge fan on, of them, especially the same price point as Titleist. I'm always gonna go Pro V1, but again, I probably got these on sale and that's why I bought a bunch of uh, Callaways. So that's everything inside my ball bag. Balls, gloves, and my valuable pouch. Let's go to the one that says New Nine Golf Club. So this is a new pouch that I'm not used to having on a bag. So instead of putting all my valuables inside of a valuable pouch, I have been using this. So I got my range finder. If you don't golf with a range finder, you need to. And if you aren't using blue tees, it's probably the best value range finder out there. 
I have done a full review on these. You can see my full opinion on the Blue Tees rangefinder. This is the Series 3 Max, comes in three colors. I got the black, my wife has the rose gold, and I used to have the blue one. It's nice that it has a magnet because you can put it right on your cart. Uh, you're not always going to the pocket, out of the pocket. Forewarning though, if you do use a magnetic strip, make sure you remember it coming home at the end of your round. I don't know how many times I've left my rangefinder on the side of the cart. So it's, uh, it's, it's good to remember this, but a great, great rangefinder. This is a magnet from Blue Tees. I don't use my magnet for my rangefinder. I keep my rangefinder in here, but there's something else that I keep on here. It's in another pocket. Let's get there. I also keep my phones. I do have two cell phones. I'm not a drug dealer. One is my personal phone. There's my wife and baby Palmer. She is six and a half months. She is just the sweetest girl in the world. And then this is my work phone. I do still have a full-time job. Unfortunately, I'm not thrilled about that. I wanna keep making golf videos so I can just do golf content full-time, but daddy has to pay the bills, so I still have a work phone. So I got my rangefinder, two phones, car keys. I know these are my keys, not my wife's keys, because they have the little Jordan 4s on them. Big Jordan guy. And then the last thing I have in here, this is kind of cool, Fee. This is a G-Tech battery. So if you don't know what G-Tech is, G-Tech makes some of the best hand warming gear out there. Doesn't matter if you're a golfer, a hiker, a hunter, an outdoorsman, they make heated pouches and heated vests. A good friend of mine, Jesse Galvin, is one of the co-founders of G-Tech. I was just playing in Kananaskis on the weekend. It was like six, seven degrees, it was cold. I made sure I had my heated pouch and I brought a spare battery just in case it ran out. So that's still in here. Okay, let's keep going. I have kind of these small pockets here. I have, this is my health pocket. So I got a cliff bar for that energy that I need on the course. It's plant-based energy. I'm not a plant-based guy. I think these were just on sale. White chocolate, macadamia nut. These, these are the noon hydrations. These are life-saving. These are electrolyte tabs. I used to be a big Gatorade guy. And then I was reading on how much sugar is just in Gatorade. And for whatever reason, these make me feel better about myself. Big bottle of water, drop a tab in here. You're getting your electrolytes back. It's been so hot. The weather's been so good. I've been walking in like 30 degree heat. I'll drink like six bottles of water and I'll always mix in a electrolyte tab. So you gotta stay hydrated. Let's look at my other small, my other small pocket. We have Advil. Ever since I turned 30, my body feels like absolute trash. So gotta keep Advil on me. A couple band-aids in case I get a blister. I got a wrench for my driver. I have so many of these. This one's from Hanma. They're all the same more or less. And then I have, ooh, well I had a flu not too long ago. So these are multi-symptom flu and that's everything inside that pocket. Okay, let's get into the last pocket here. Then we can start talking some clubs. Okay, let's take a look in here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, that magnet. This is the Blue Tees player speaker. One of the best Bluetooth speakers out there. It has that same magnetic strips. So when I go in the cart, slap it on there, pair it with my phone, I'm rocking tunes, or on my bag, I slap it on this magnet. So this is a super strong magnet. If I'm going up and down hills, she ain't going anywhere. And uh, the tunes are rocking off the course. They just made a new one of these. This is their first generation. The new one I think shows you distance. So if you cart a lot, there'll be like a front, middle, back distance. It's kind of like a, a caddy inside of a speaker. Haven't tried it yet, but again, Blue Tea super sweet. What I do have with Blue Tees is a discount code for our followers. If you are interested, I'll put a description in the link of the bio. That goes for anything else in here. You can check the description of this video and any savings that I can do to get you guys cool products is uh, kind of something I like to do for you viewers. Inside here, I also have rain gear. I hate having to use this. I had to use this last weekend. These are Mizuno pants. I know I bought new pants last year, I couldn't find them. I was in a pinch, had to grab whatever I could find in my closet. So these are Mizuno, they actually held up pretty good. My rain jacket is one of the best in the biz. This is Galvin Green. I'm probably gonna sweat wearing this guy. Besides the wrinkles, I think it's one of probably the best looking rain jackets out there. A little pricier, but after being stuck in the rain, I would say that the quality is worth it. I stayed dry. By the end of my round, I could just shake it out, put it right back in my golf bag. So the last time I wore this, it was freezing rain and uh, it held up. So I'm, I'm glad I had it in the golf bag and I think it's a pretty nice looking jacket. So that's all I had in this pocket with my rain gear and uh, my Bluetooth speaker. A lot of people always ask me what type of sunglasses I wear. I have really sensitive eyes. These are the Sundog Attaboys. Sundog sponsors a bunch of golfers like uh, Paula Kramer, Charlie Hall. I think they had Louis Oosthuizen and Hunter Mahan a long time ago. So I've been trying these out and uh, so far pretty good. Now, clubs. You guys are probably interested. What type of driver am I using? What type of putter am I using? Irons, wedges, all that fun stuff. 
So let's get right into it. Okay, let me show you what clubs are in my bag. Why don't we start with driver? Actually, why don't I just start with what you can see? Let's start irons. Let's go irons. So let's start with something that you guys are familiar with. These are my Mira MC501 irons. I'm going pitch to four. Same irons I played last year. So I just didn't find the need to switch all my irons this year. I played them last year, they felt good. They feel even better this year. The shafts are Project X LZ 6.5. A lot of people think that these are graphite shafts, but indeed they are steel, extra stiff steel. The grips are Golf Pride Micro Suede. These are now discontinued. So I've been toying around with other grips. So this is the first time in as long as I can remember that not every grip on my club is the same, which is a little different, but because I'm trying new grips, it's inevitable because I can't buy these grips anymore. So I'm playing these Miura MC501s, like I said, from pitch to four. Even though I haven't upgraded my irons, there's definitely some that I'm looking at. I just saw the new Titleist T100s come out. I'm hoping I can do a sneak peek fitting for those, and potentially those will end up in my bag next year, but uh, I have a feeling I might change these out next year. My three iron has stayed the same. This I'm considering taking out of the bag ASAP. I'm just not hitting it a lot. It's now like six years old, seven years old. So to keep hitting this club just doesn't feel as good as it used to. That same shaft, Project X LZ65, but in the traditional stainless steel. You can see how much bag wear this has just from going in and out of my bag so often. I just don't hit it a lot. I used to hit it off the tee a ton. Before I hit my hybrid, I was hitting this three iron. I hit my hybrid even more and I'm more confident in my driver. So instead of kind of just laying up 230, I've been attacking a lot of fairways. So I'm just not hitting this a lot. I'm trying to consider what I might change that to. I might get maybe another driving iron with maybe just a bit bigger cavity and a graphite shaft. Maybe I'll add a wedge, maybe I'll add a three wood. I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do with that vacant spot, but I think I'm gonna change it. This club here, I will guarantee that almost no one you play with has ever had one of these in their bag. No one I knows has this club. This is the Q Golf All-in-One Golf Club. This is something I'm supposed to be shooting some Instagram content with. This club, you can change from a lob wedge <laughs> all the way to a putter and everything in between. So. This is kind of a funky club that I posted talking about one of these in theory a long time ago. Turns out the company exists and they're called Q-Golf. This club, not to mention, look how long that grip is. So the idea is you could play a full round of golf using one club, which is super gimmicky, which is exactly what this club is. So if I'm using the lob wedge, obviously I'm choking way down, or if I'm using the hybrid setting, to get it off the tee, I can put it down a little further, but it looks weird, it feels terrible, and I'm not really sure who it's for, but I committed to doing a couple Instagram reels just because I thought for a gimmick, it's kind of interesting, and I think people would be interested to see how this goes. Hitting it, it just doesn't feel great. How about I throw one swing on it? Let me throw a swing. So I'm gonna put it to the sand wedge setting. I'm gonna choke way down, and I'll just see if I can make contact. feels super dead. So that sand wedge went 130 yards, which brings me to my next what's in the bag. This is the full swing launch monitor. This is the same launch monitor that Tiger Woods endorses. There's a ton of pro golfers using full swing. I've used TrackMan in the past. I've played around with Foresight. This is probably the most inexpensive launch monitor. I'm going to be comparing it to TrackMan's and Foresight's that are like 30, 40 grand. This thing you can take it home for like what? four grand it's like anywhere from like four to seven thousand dollars which is still obviously not cheap but for anyone that's considering a launch monitor this is probably one of the best options for you let's hit it one more time let's see if i can surpass 130. so that was the like the wedge setting how would i put it on the hybrid so this is what i would do off of the t see if i can make contact i can hold it closer to the butt of the club i was hitting it earlier and i couldn't get it to go further than 200 yards That's probably as good as I can hit that. And that went 184. So I'm not cracking 200 in the next couple swings. But like I said, I'm just gonna make some Instagram content. If you follow me on Instagram, at New9Golf, you'll see me play a couple holes using just this club. This is Q Golf. 
another reason why I got the full swing launch monitor is if you've watched any of my club reviews, the majority of them are inside. So I'm limited to not seeing the ball flight. With full swing, I can do a full session out here at Country Hills. We have range fitting balls that are full flight as opposed to these like 60 flight balls that I'm hitting right now. So I wanted to get this launch monitor just to improve my club review videos. Let's see what else is in the bag. If you follow my channel this summer, you would have seen me go for a Titleist wedge fitting. These are the Titleist SM9 Vokies. So I got a 50 degree in the F grind, 54 degree the S grind, and a 60 degree in the D grind. And I just absolutely broke my heart. I, was t I told you earlier I was playing that Kananaskis tournament. I hit a ball on the ninth hole in kind of like near a rock waterbed. I thought I had a good lie. I took a swing, I felt a rock, and this idiot I am, took a huge gash, two huge gashes out of my 60 degree. Thank God when I put it down at a dress, I can't see it. I use my 60 degree for a lot of full swing so it doesn't bug me. It bugs me though when I am looking at my clubs and I see that I took a chunk out of it with rock. It is what it is, it's golf that will happen. The shafts in my wedges are the same as my irons. They're those blacked out Project X LZs. Different grip though. This is a Golf Pride Tour Velvet 360. I got sweaty hands and I don't like to chip with a glove on and I feel like I have really good control. This is one of the grips that I'm trying out. I think I've won maybe two more grips in the bag. We'll get there. So far these wedges, have, they feel awesome. I had a ton of issues in my short game to start the year. I had some lessons, I got new wedges and I would say I'm probably chipping the best that I ever had. They feel really good and I would definitely recommend um, Titleist Vokey. This is a, uh, one of my favorite accessories in my bag. It's called the Groove It Wet Club Scrub. Inside here is a water reservoir so I can shoot water on my club, give it a little scrub. It's got a magnet, so I just throw the magnet on there. Clean club. I do keep one alignment stick in my bag. It primarily holds my towel. This is a swag golf towel. I'm constantly changing towels. This is just kind of the flavor of the week. I thought it was kind of cool. The king, I told you I play poker. I'm a fan of head covers and the head cover niche and swag is someone I've supported since the get-go. I like their stuff, so I'm rocking a swag towel. Let's get into the fun stuff, okay? Let me show you something a little familiar with a new head cover. I told you I like head covers. This is a trusty, probably, this is probably my favorite club in the bag. This is my Titleist 915H2 Hybrid 915. Let's see how many generations old that is. Went 17, 18, like TSR, like how old is this club? It's gotta be getting close to 10 years old. I love this club. I tried to upgrade it this year. I was playing a Titleist TSI, TSI 3. I love Titleist medals, but this is just my baby. I know how to shape it. I know how to hit a draw, hit a cut. The feel is so familiar. This shaft, look at the bag rash on this shaft. I even upgraded this shaft this year just because I thought it was time. This shaft they don't even make anymore. It's a Fujikura speeder. It's about an 88 gram X flex. It just suits my game. Like I said, that familiarity I love, feels good, and it's just hard to replace. This head cover is Scotty Cameron. I was a big Scotty Cameron collector, still collect some stuff. This is Club Cameron Japan. I traded a guy a couple head covers for this. The theme of my bag this year is kind of black, red, and this Tiffany. So I thought it matched the bag pretty well. This is the shaft that I was upgrading or that I had bought as an upgrade. So I am still kind of playing around with this. It's much heavier, so this is a Fujikura Ventus. The new grip that I'm trying out, this is the Z grip. This is much more of a cord. I do really like this grip. I think of all the grips that I'm playing with, this is probably the one that I will replace my bag with. I just found this shaft too heavy and too stiff. I found if I hit it at 110% every time, it was in play. But as soon as I hit it 80%, 75%, I just try to kind of guide the ball. I didn't have as much success as my old one, so so far, this old guy is staying in play. This is the classic like buying a shaft before you hit it, which I don't really vouch for. A friend of mine had one, I thought I would try it. He gave me a good deal on it, so I'm not like losing my shirt on it by any means. But it's, uh, like I said, this is like such a go-to shaft for me. Okay, you guys probably wanna see the driver. Go over here, come see this driver. There's a lot of drivers that I like. This is just the one that I've been getting along with the longest for the majority of the season. This head cover is from a friend of mine at Rawhide. Rawhide is made in Canada. I'll put a link to their website. This guy was on one of my t-shirts that we just released for New Nine Golf. He kept up the theme with kind of the Tiffany blue, black and red through New Nine Golf Club on there. This is my driver this year, which is the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus. 
TaylorMade let me customize this driver. If you've seen a lot of the Stealth 2 or the Stealth lineup this year, it is red face with a shiny crown. With mine, I was able to customize a matte crown so it's not as reflective. I went with some silver accents and then a black face. I really, really like this driver. It won the top driver of the year based on all of the numbers that I collected. In my driver bracket head to head, the Cobra had beat this by like 0.1 yards, so it was very close. And I am still playing the Cobra. So our family has a cottage property in Prince Edward Island. That's where my wife's from. I actually left a set of clubs out there. So I'll have to do another what's in the bag for my bag in Prince Edward Island. That's where my Cobra Aerojet is. So I am still hitting the Cobra Aerojet. It's just in my vacation bag. The irons are Tacomos. I reviewed Tacomo irons. I really like those irons. I have other wedges in there and a lab putter. So I don't have a lab putter in this uh, bag and I know a lot of you guys might be disappointed. There's a lot of lab supporters, but the putter that I'm using Oh, well, before I get to putter, I'll tell you the shaft. The shaft is the Fujikura Ventus Black 6X Velocor, very similar to the hybrid shaft. That's, that's why I got the hybrid shaft. I was hitting this driver shaft so good, like so, so good. It is an upgraded shaft. Originally I had a Hazardous Project X Black 6.5 flex and it was decent dispersion, but I just had better with the Ventus. Really quick on shafts, if you are looking for any upgraded shafts, I've been dealing with Will at People's Golf. Will has been awesome. I've dealt with him for like four or five years. He always has super timely delivery. He's got a huge selection. He's been awesome. If you want to check out any shafts, I will put a link to his stuff in the description of this video. Okay, that's the driver. Sorry to disappoint any Cobra Titleist fanboys. I still have a TSR 3 in the lineup, but this is just what I've been hitting really good. There's only one more club left in my bag. Keeping up with the Tiffany and Black theme, shout out to my boy Tyson Lamb from Texas. This was never supposed to be in my bag this year. This is my Tyson Lamb Bridgeport. So this putter was sitting in my basement beside my practice putty mat with a couple other putters. I would just, you know, throw the TV on, go downstairs, roll a couple. At the time I had an LA Golf graphite shaft in it. I had extended it. I was playing around. I don't know why I stopped using this putter, to be honest. I think other putters just started coming to my house and I was playing around with other putters. But this is kind of like my baby. Like you kind of have like those prized possessions in your golf collection and this is that to me. It felt so good but it didn't feel very good when I was playing around with the extended shaft and all that stuff. So I put the standard shaft back in it. This Super Stroke has had better days. It's a pistol GTR Tour. They don't make this grip anymore, which pains me. At the time I bought the newer version of the Super Stroke pistol grip. Didn't feel anywhere close to this. I was having some putting issues and I just wasn't feeling super confident over the ball. I said, you know what? Let's put that steel shaft back in the lamb. Let's take it out. And I was making everything. I think I shot, under par like three or four rounds that I had it in the bag. So it's staying with me in the bag. It feels so good. I love looking at it. It has sentimental value to me. This putter I actually got on my wedding week. So Tyson had stamped uh, my name, my wife Jessica's name, and the date that we had gotten married. So if I'm having a bad round, I can look at that. It puts me in a time and place that it just makes me feel good. I love this putter. I would be nervous to say put it on a launch monitor to compare it to some newer technology, but there's just so much that it means sentimentally to me and it's working. So that's the putter I have in my bag and it's going to stay in there until it stops working. And the putter has some imperfections. I've hit it on a wedge or two. There's uh, a couple indents around the putter. It's not perfect by any means, but it's my putter. <laughs> it's my story. So there's guys on tour I know like Tiger's putter is beat to absolute shit. Jordan Spee's putter is beat to shit. So like I said, it's my putter, it's my story, and I love that it's back in my bag. I was rolling the lab, LAB putters for a long time. I'm still using it in my vacation bag. I have the Mez 1. I really like that putter. It's got a lot more technology than this Tyson Lamb does. So I can play around with that. If I'm rolling it good there, I might bring it home. It's tough to say, but so far, for the end of the season that I can foresee, this is my bag setup. So the game has been feeling pretty good this year. I would say that I'm trending. I'm just coming off of a 67 two days ago. Oh no, I have 66. I had a putt for 65. I lipped out, shot 66. The game is trending. Club champs are coming up this week. How about I show you guys where the swing's at? If you can, check out our store, new9golf.com. Make sure you subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. We are always growing. I appreciate you guys being part of the community. How about I show you where the swing's at? Thanks for watching this video. We'll check in with you guys next time.